All right, so we've made it to the final assembly. We're going to attach the crayon poles to the top of the two platforms, and then we're going to be done. So this is not hard, but it is repetitious. You have to do this several times. So I'm going to place my crayon pole, and I'm just going to put it down here three times for right now. We'll zoom in. You see how they how they came in where I'm seeing the point. I want to rotate those so I can see the bottom. So I'll rotate each one. And unfortunately, we're going to place about 16 of these, so you'll have to do this every time. Okay, so I'd like to have these up here where I can... I don't have to move them around quite so much. I'm going to start in this corner right here. And so we'll zoom back in. And the first thing we do is mate. Elijah, Hannah, if you're in the building, please come to the main office. Elijah, Hannah. If you know Elijah, tell him to go to the office. All right, so we're going to mate the bottom of the pole to the platform. And then we'll do this one. And we will do this one. So that has them in place, but they're free moving. So we actually are going to put one about right here. We're going to put one here, and we're going to put one right in here. We just want to block this corner off. We might come back and place another one right here. We'll see about that. So I'm going to move these kind of out of the way so you can see them move. <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is with this first one we want to constrain the center line of the crayon to the center line of the pole and that will put it in place now for these two we're going to work the center line to the edge but we're going to offset it four inches because we want it set back away from the edge so I'm going to put in four and we're going to go center line to face and you see how that put that out hanging out over the edge change your offset to a negative four and it'll put it back and so we'll do that again negative four center line to face now the final thing that we do is we need to get our spacing between that will be 7.5 center line to center line and 7.5 center line to center line. And you could see, if I cancel that, you see that we really have, we really have some extra space right here that we probably need to place another one. And if we zoom out a little bit and keep turning, we probably need to place another one or two right along in here. So you're going to have to kind of work it a little bit. <clears throat> we'll add two more. Rotate those. Rotate this one. Mate bottom to the platform. Mate bottom to the platform. And then we're going to offset flush negative four center line to edge. Didn't like that. Let's move that over a little closer. Center line to face. And we'll do, let's do negative four again. And do center line to face. And then 7.5. 
center to center and 7.5 center center and so that gets that corner closed up in pretty good shape we have a post right here coming off the edge of the monkey bars so we can't fall off this side so that looks good so now we're going to do the same thing over here if we looking at this if we judge that we're going to have one two three four and maybe five here then you come to this side and you're going to have one here and one here and then when you move to the upper platform you're going to have one back here one on each post and then about five more across the center so you're going to have several before we're done go constrain mate mate Okay, cancel that, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just gonna drag these over kind of to where I think I know they need to go. And then we'll start placing them and getting them locked in. I actually think this one's gonna come over here. All right, so the first first one's going to be center line to center line. And then we're going to be center line. We're going to offset 4 to edge, and that was wrong. So it's got to be negative 4. And apply negative 4 to edge we should have matching edges along here <clears throat> so in pretty good shape right there so we're ready to go to the upper platform and you can see that we've got the spiral slide here with an opening off this corner we need to leave this edge open to get up to it but we need to close off this little piece right here so we will just place one post and we'll go center to center and that should close that up real nice So that works. So we're going to do the same thing face to face. We'll grab that one since we can see it. And then we'll go center to center. And I'm going to turn this just a little bit. and we'll go center to center and now we just need to fill in the space between these two posts along this angled edge so if we zoom back out I'm fairly certain that I don't have enough so let's put these three zoom out and make sure that's all we've got let's rotate Rotate. And rotate. And then it's just the same thing again. Mate to the surface. Oh, I missed that. That's the wrong surface. Make sure you get the top.
and then we'll offset we're going to try negative four again center to edge negative four was correct so we'll do that again and one more time and finally to get these three right we'll offset 7.5 from center to center Seven point five from center to center, and seven point five from center to center. Now let's see where we're at. Obviously, we've still got some more to go, so we probably need three more in here. So we'll go get them. Place them one, two, three. Rotate, rotate, and rotate. And then mate, bottom to surface, bottom to surface bottom got a little click happy there bottom to surface now we can go I, I'm going to cancel that and spread these out just a little bit okay so now we're at negative four center to edge negative four center to edge negative four center to edge and then start your spacing 7.5 center to center 7.5 center to center and with any luck at all this last one will be just about right. We'll cancel that, zoom out, let's rotate around and look down on it. That looks pretty, pretty good. We close off here. We could, we could place another one right at the front of the spiral slide, but I don't know that we need to do that. You're welcome to do that if you feel like your kids need to be safe, then by all means, place one there. So I think we're good right there. Let's get zoomed out here, and that should be your final playground. Climbing wall, platform, platform, spiral slide, monkey bars, tunnel slide, and enough crayon poles set in place to keep everybody safe. So I apologize for this video being a little longer. Um, again, it's, it's not hard. It's just repetitious. Take your time, get it done, and when we are finished, you need to print a dimension top, front, and right side, which will be here with a dimension from the outside of your wall handles to the outside of your legs, a top with that's a little bit janky. from outside to outside if it will give this to you. If not, come back to here. And finally, a right side from outside to outside, or from top to bottom. You need those three dimensions. So when you're done with that, get it saved, get them printed, and we'll get everything bound together and we will be done with this big project.